So are you looking for a small action camera that you can maybe fit on the side of your crash helmet or hide it somewhere a little bit discreet? Well, don't go anywhere because coming up, I've got a fantastic little action camera that I'd like to show you. Hello and welcome to a Jeeves Tried This. My name is Tony Jeeves and this channel is all about photography and video equipment and process reviews. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below so you can check out all our videos that are like this one that you're about to watch today. Now today's video is gonna be all about the Drift Stealth 2 action camera. Now, as you can see, this action camera is a very small unit and it's that small you can actually fit it in the palm of your hand and it's very lightweight too so as we look at this camera again to mention that it is small in size but at the front you've got a lens that you can rotate 300 degrees you've got just underneath that you've got your built-in noise reducing microphone and at the side, you've got a very convenient mount that you can mount either to the camera or the waterproof case if you've got one. So this is the mount, like so. And that, all that does is just screws in, like so. And then you can use that and actually rotate the mount around to position your camera wherever you want it to. At the back of the actual camera itself, you've got a micro HDMI port. You've got a mini USB port. And then next to that, you've got a slot for your micro SD card. Now this camera can take up to a 32 gig uh, SD card. I would recommend using a high quality SD card like the SanDisk Extreme because you are gonna be recording video. And then just above that, you've got a tiny, tiny little hole which you probably won't be able to see, but that's a reset button just in case you ever have to do a factory reset. And these are protected by a screw mount cover, which just fits onto the unit. Like so. So now that unit is fully weather resistant. So whether it rains, snows, sleets, thunderstorms, whatever, that is now fully protected from the elements. At the front, you've got a nice small LCD display screen, so you can actually see what you're doing and recording. And with this as well, uh, you can also use that to change the modes of your camera. Now at the top of the camera itself, you've got your power LED indicator. Now this will flash in different colors depending on what mode you're in. For instance, recording video, or taking photographs or time lapses um, and so on. You've got your power on button. Next to that, you've got your up and down for using throughout your menus. And then next to that, you've actually got your menu selection button. So the Stealth Drift 2 can record up to 1080p using 25 frames or 30 frames per second. You can also drop the quality down to 960p and again, you can record in 25 frames or 30 frames per second. You can then drop down to 720p, and with that, you can do 25 frames per second, 30 frames per second, 100 frames per second, and even 120 frames per second. So you can really get those slow motion shots and with your editing, put them into your videos too. The lens has got a 135 degree lens, so it's quite a wide angled lens rather than just a normal 90 degree lens. And the file formatting is MP4, which uses the H.264 codec, so it's ideal for uploading, say, to YouTube. You've got a photo mode, which can take photos in 3 megapixels, 5 and 12. And this also has a CMOS sensor. so. The pictures are actually quite good quality if you're gonna use it for taking photos. So if you're out, say, on a mountain hike and you wanna record your videos using this quite small, discrete camera, you can also then change that 
into photos and when you're at the top of the mountain you can get some decent photos as well saving you carrying another camera now they're not going to be dslr quality but they are going to be sufficient for you to look back and see and view on a computer screen the unit itself is weather resistant and you can also get the optional underwater case which is there so this is actually a fantastic little underwater case it's very simple to use you've got a button at the top there which you pull along lift up that bit pull that bit back and the front opens the camera then conveniently just slides inside like so you can then do up the case and now that's waterproof so this also is very good if you're say out on a motorbike and you want to reduce that wind noise a bit further put the actual camera in the waterproof case and mount that to your motorcycle and you're putting really all you're going to hear is your engine noise through the microphone this is also Wi-Fi enabled, so you can use this with a smartphone and download the Drift app, either on an Android phone or an Apple phone. And you can also get a two-way remote control, which is sold separately. This is really good uh, as a remote control because you've got the little LEDs either side and they will flash with the same colours as your camera to tell you what mode you're in. So what's in the actual box when you buy the camera? So this is another unit that I've got. Now I use these on quite a few projects that I do. So first of all, you've got your, your main camera itself. You take that out. You've got a USB cable for charging the unit. Now remember this unit as well has got a built-in battery. So it hasn't got an external battery like the Drift Ghost S. And I'll put a video just above now, so if you want to review the Ghost S, you can do. You get two mounting brackets. One is a flat mount and the other one's a curved mount, so you can uh, mount this to a helmet or something that's curved. And you also get the, the actual mount itself with the clip, which connects to the side of the camera or the waterproof case. And at the bottom, you've also got a helmet mount as well. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't come with the straps, uh, but straps are easily available to get. And I'll put a link below of where you can buy some straps just in case you want to mount it to a helmet. You get a couple of drift stickers and your user manual. So what is this actually like for shooting? Well. I recently went out and done a small trip using the Drift Stealth 2 on my motorbike so I'll put up the video footage right now so you can have a look for yourself um, how good this camera is with you know fast moving objects going past you.
and welcome back. So you've seen the camera itself, you've seen the footage that it takes. If you want to find out some more information or where you can buy this from, I'll put some links below. If this video has helped you out in any way, then please feel free to pop a comment below and give me a like. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest and you can view our website at www.jeevetriedthis.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.